He might be mad at me later on. Who knows? Fuck it. Yeah, first time I saved his son and I got yelled at for it. Either way. He'll come around, though, if he's mad at me. He'll be alright. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Yeah, let's just have a stroll through the town. Look! I would say that. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh yeah, let's just like talk to him and get to their attention, why don't we? I think they want to kiss and a hug, maybe. There goes the fucking homie. I mean, he's just fighting with words, but still. Homie is hip hop. Come on. Check that out. What you know about High Row? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! Aw, oh, I yelled at her. Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Lydia, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it... We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turned! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> oh, no! Jesus! You don't 
lock this place down, you fucks? Come on. You should have checked this place, you shitheads. Come on now. Ah, oh, come here, you fuck. Get off me, asshole. Oh, there we go. Good job. Well, now you can use the pooper. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh oh. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get him shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Shut up. Yeah, sit the fuck down. Take a seat, motherfucker. Being an asshole. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. Like pills? Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, maybe I don't want to get that fucker pills just yet. I'm going to scope out this place and see what's up. How you doing? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Hey, there might be some coffee around here. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Yeah, let's just look at this junk. Here we go. Let's check this out. I mean... You checked the battery compartment, right? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Hey, I wonder if there's some batteries around here. What's up, guy? What's up, feller? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, okay. Hey, let's do that. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yeah, let's just, like, go out there and wave our arms around and be like, Hey, zombies, it's dinner time. Nom nom, motherfucker. Yes, um... Just eat. Or 
far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Oh, isn't that pleasant? Oh, fuck. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, what's... Wasn't there something out here or no? No, nothing out here? Okay, pleasant, good. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Yep, just look at him. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up. The uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Yeah, we'll see what we can find. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Yeah, yeah, probably. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Isn't that great? Okay. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Just tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. And I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Anything else? Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. Isn't that pleasant? What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And our dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. That wasn't bad, though. I can't reach that brick. And let's see, I think that's everything, let's so... Let's back inside. Okay. I think it's a good idea. Get some fresh air that has zombie stuff in the air so but you know what with how um I don't know my HD PVR likes to act weird now I don't know if it's the HD PVR if it's the computer but it seems I, I don't know I don't need to take a break now but I'm trying to split it up into two parts and I mean I don't really need to I don't need to at all but I wanna kinda I think there's something over here, so I'm, let me I kinda do wanna 
uh, take a break and then like just split no, it up. I'm and... sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's batteries. Okay. I didn't see batteries before. And I thought there was food in here. There's no food. No food. How about food? Anyway, you know what? I kind of do want to split this up, so. Oh, he doesn't say anything. I don't remember them very well. No, oh, I suppose not. Okay, anyway, let me go ahead and take a break, and then I'll come back and I'll socialize and get to know people better. You can't let anything happen to Ducky. I, I understand. I wasn't planning to let anything happen to the shorty. So, here we go. I'm going to take a brief break, and I... stop. Alright, hey, let's go. Hopefully everything falls into place and I can get this happening... See, there was something here. Hopefully I can get this happening in the next uh, 45 something minutes. It'll be super nice and wonderful. I think there was, I don't remember if I... Did I look what was up here? IT guy! IT guy! Something something. I don't know what that's about, but hey. I think he already talked to you. Okay, nothing on the shelves. Or anything on the shelves? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Would they have donated anything anyway? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Oh, really? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Hey, Carmen. Let's chit chat. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Not really. I better get back to it. Yep. Oh, wait. Was I supposed to check out something else? I don't know. Already checked the cards. I think I already checked the photographs. There isn't anything else Just over here. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. What's this? I think it was a yummy candy bar. Was the yummy candy bar? May very well have been. The pills are in there. I think we may know that. Let's take that. Yeah, another one of those. And maybe another one of these too. There we go. We have lots of snacks. Is there any more batteries though? Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I don't remember. Did I feed her any snacks before? Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. 
Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. That, like, totally wasn't kind of awkward.